Hey there, my people! I cheated. A lot of you are asking me for a headers reaction, but the thing is, I already know headers. And this series is about musicals I don't know, right? So I'm not doing this video. Bye! <laughs> I've found a way to cheat at my own game. I've actually never listened to the West End cast recording. So it counts, right? Yeah, it counts. Musical challenge! I'm so excited. If you don't know who I am, I don't know either, so we're friends now. If you're new here, I'm Barbara, and I've been told I know nothing about musicals, so I took it very, very badly and created a YouTube channel, as one does, you know? So hit subscribe to help me educate myself. Google's jealous of the comments section in my videos. Now, this one will be a bit different from the usual reaction videos. I'll be more commenting and comparing than anything else, so you won't be able to hear the music. You're stuck in my voice. <laughs> It's not like you don't know the soundtrack by heart, right? Let me know in the comments what's your favorite headless cast recording. Polemic! I'm biased because... But I'm coming to this with an open heart, I swear. Let's see what you got. Carrie Hope Fletcher. Oh, that's a cool name. 1989. Dear Diary, I believe I'm a good... Oh, she says I think. Cancel this, lyric change! Joking, so not gonna be that kind of video. And set this dump ablaze. Literally. <laughs> Okay, this might be too early to say, but Carrie sounds younger to me. Probably because Barrett's voice is a bit deeper and she plays that really well into the character, which makes her Veronica closer to Winona's Veronica, you know? Darker and really bored of the nonsense high school life. She clearly doesn't fit in. Carrie reminds me that Veronica is a teenager. Not just because of how her voice sounds, but also because of the way she's acting with it. Lighter and more enthusiastic, which should make her soul being crushed even more fun to listen to. I'm a good person, I think. She really pronounces her words, doesn't she? Ooh, Heather's. Please be good, please be good. Oh wow, they sound different. I have to get used to it. Heather Chandler is actually the opposite of Veronica. She sounds older than her Broadway counterpart. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. She sounds so posh. This is an excellent forgery. <laughs> oh, this is great. I feel like this Heather Chandler is going to be more of a caricature stereotype than she already is. Am I right? Am I wrong? See, if people think you guys tolerate me, they will leave me alone. It's the line that makes me question why they keep insisting on the beautiful theme throughout the soundtrack. That line sounds very much like Veronica. She just wants high school to be at least tolerable. I think I remember her literally saying something along those lines in the movie. It's not about being beautiful. I know that most of the time they use the word in a context that has nothing to do with looks, which is nice. And they do have creative freedom to write a more modern character. Did I just destroy my own argument? Damn it! And someone... <laughs> Love that bit. Are we gonna have- Oh my god, she sounds so different! Okay, this definitely has more guitar and less bass than the broader recording. Are these people British or actually American? Oh wow! That candy store belting just froze my brain. I can't help myself, okay? Should be used to this by now. I know nothing about singing, but is her range completely different from Broadway's Heather Chandler? Or is that me? Yeah, these headers sound way more high pitch. Holy shit, holy shit. Hey, Mr. No Name Kid. Yeah, I like this Carrie girl, she's good. Oh, it's gonna be so hard not singing along to this. Can you guys do it? Can you control yourself and just not sing a song that you really love? Because I just, I can't. It's like physical reaction, I just can't. It's like throwing up, but with words and melody. What? Oh, hi, sir, and all your vibrato. He sounds more melodic and theatrical than Broadway JD. Okay, he's dramatic, right? I said it. Everyone is so much more dramatic in this. And I'm not complaining. Did he just say Ironica? <laughs> okay, this guy is British. I usually can't tell when British actors do your American accents or vice versa, unless they're really, really bad, but I'm pretty sure about this guy. Oh, songwriting at its best. I love this song. This show doesn't give a damn. Oh, no, no, they changed my favorite part. Drunk Veronica going, really? Because I feel great. 10 points from Slytherin for that. What? Yes, I do sort musicals into Hogwarts houses. Don't ask. Wow, lots of lyric changes. They cut the harassment bit, didn't they? Fine by me. Oh no, I'm on karaoke mode. I could change my name and ride up to Seattle. Sorry. 
Before they punch my clock. Oh my god, stop it. Kiss this dead girl. Oh, so hard. Bow down to the will of a dead girl walking. I just can't, sorry. Oh yeah, the guitar solo sounds completely different. Less heavy on rock and roll, I guess. Yeah, this definitely has a character of its own. It's almost like a different show. I think out of all the songs, this is the one that I'm most excited about seeing live one day. I mean, the ghost of a girl responding to the people who are writing her fake suicide note and then celebrating the popularity she gains through that? There's nothing like it. Miss Fleming is the best. Oh, this is interesting. They made Veronica laugh when they're all sharing, which is what happens in the movie. So here's your original source material approved stamp. Oh, they changed head that touching me as well. I don't like it. I'm bigger than John Lennon! <laughs> this song's hilarious. What? Wait, did I change? Oh, there's no blue. Fine by me. Blue's too cringy. Makes me uncomfortable. Oh, but this... This is disgusting. Okay, I take it back. Blue's not that uncomfortable. Where do I start? I don't love either of the songs. And they clearly went on a totally different route with this one. My main issue with Blue is that, besides being cringy as fuck, it makes comedy out of a very serious situation. And I understand the scene has always been there, it's part of the story. But making the song comical sounds like they're trying to say, oh, these are just harmless, silly boys. The boys will be boys excuse which is not acceptable in any context. I don't care if they're drunk, I don't care if they're dumb, none of that should be justification for harassment or worse, ever. Stop trying to sell that, no one buys it anymore. It's getting warm in here, isn't it? So I almost prefer how direct they are in your welcome and telling us, look, these are bad guys, period. And also in giving Veronica a bit more opportunity to articulate her feelings, which we don't have at all with Blue, but I'm still uncomfortable, disgusted even, which was clearly their goal, but I just hope they're promoting some kind of trigger warning for this one. Because the lyrics are quite strong. Also, the traces of rap and beatbox just made it sound a bit out of place to me. I would love to hear your thoughts on this change, so please come to the comment section. Let's have a chat. <laughs> they gave the headers the spotlight. About time. I mean, do they even wear mics in the show? <laughs> Move, bitch, this my song. <laughs> Is this head a duke? I really like her voice. Ew, seriously, great job making Kurt and Rem awful. My favorite thing about this one is how it starts as probably the most romantic song I've ever heard in my life. They managed to reflect that feeling of being indestructible and invincible when you're with the person you love. The feeling that your love is bigger than anything and anyone. And then it all goes to shit. It's like an entire Game of Thrones book in a song. <laughs> it's funny how they removed relatively strong language from some of the songs, but still wrote, you're welcome. I know what's gonna happen, but this gets me every time. Wow, they always cast really good dads, don't they? Did that sound as dirty to you as it did to me? Do you always sing this whenever it starts playing, no matter where you are, or are you normal people? Carrie's got her own tempo. You do you go. Every time I get to this one, it's the same reaction. Oh my god, they're supposed to be 17. Veronica has a serious hip change, I can fix him issue. China Light, aka the awkward high school assembly for unrealistic expectations. <laughs> Miss Fleming is too pure for this word. This one actually makes me think of the writing process for musicals, because this is a nearly three minute, somewhat shallow song that is literally just bait for the actual meaningful one minute song lifeboat isn't it beautiful how sometimes they just have to like throw all these words on the table just so they can carefully pick the right ones for the next song how can a one minute song hit you so hard actually what are your interpretations of lifeboat i think there are lots of hidden meanings in this song but i think the main message that stands out to me is that even at the place where she's supposed to be the safest, she's not. Which is the scariest aspect of her situation. I'm curious though, what else can you guys pick up on this song? Let's play a game in the comments, I'll give you points. <laughs> Joking. Or maybe not. Man, this show is so problematic. Oh, this is a new one as well, but I already know it and I love it. Totally approve the change. It's powerful, both lyrics and melody, and I'll always be here for Veronica taking back control. This is how I see this song. 
Hun, you what you waiting for? Shut up, JD. All best moments in the entire show. But I love you, dude. Yes. All the awards. You can take all the awards. I'm just worried about Veronica saying she'll pay back all the karma she owes. Honey, that'll be stressful. Is this the same actress from Broadway? Because they sound kind of similar, don't they? Maybe I'm being crazy because I usually skip this one. <laughs> There's something very satisfying about the pauses in this one. Change the lyrics again to give Veronica more space to speak her mind, which I love. It's kind of funny how Kara's Veronica feels more powerful. It's actually hard to believe that this character would fall for anyone's lies. I never really liked the Vietnam joke, to be honest. Publicly, Freeze Your Brain is my favorite Jay-Z song. Secretly, it's meant to be yours. Shh. This song is such a banger. Appreciate we're getting to the end, so I just wanted to say this cast is great. See, I don't buy that this Veronica wanted someone strong to protect her. I'm sorry. Chick to chick in hell with a dead girl walking. So good. Did she see a Norwegian? <laughs> what? <laughs> sorry, this JD is here carrying all the drama of the show in his back, isn't he? <laughs> oh, this is different. How did they do the explosion on stage? I always wondered. Quite a few lyric changes here as well. They're clearly targeting a different kind of mindset, right? One that's more comfortable to discuss difficult topics and actually act on them. But at the end there, they changed one day we'll change the world, but let's kick back tonight to we want a better word, so why not start tonight? That's just one example, but in many moments, it felt like they were trying to make the show a bit more aware and active, which is really good, especially when the story explores such sensitive and difficult topics. And it's done. I don't know how different this is technically in terms of the kinds of instruments and the kinds of melodies and singing that they're using, but I do really like that they try to bring a different vibe to the show and it does feel like it has a character of its own, but still being faithful to the original um, material, which is always what you want with an adaptation, right? To leave your footprint, but it's still pay homage and be truthful to the original material. I really, really enjoyed it. Out of all the new songs, I Say No is definitely my favorite, both in terms of melody and lyrics, and also what it represents in the story, because it's giving Veronica that final word, and that wraps up really well. The cast is really great, and the way they're playing the characters is actually quite different. And that was really refreshing to see different versions of these characters. It's not like you listen to the same soundtrack. Thank you everyone who suggested the soundtrack, and is still suggesting lots of great shows, I'm sure. It's gonna take me a while to get through all of them, but we'll get there and conquer the world of musical theatre. I'll see you guys next time, and remember to keep singing. Always. I will. With my new mic, apparently. <laughs> Ciao!